Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life, and I wanted to uh, share with you this little cool idea that I shared with the folks that did the Mexico workshop with me. And this is it, that if you want to show something in your work more clearly, you can diminish the things in your work that are really strong. And really strong means contrast, value difference. If you want color, for example, to stand out more, if that's what you're interested in showing, then you can reduce this value contrast and that, that difference diminishes and lets the more quieter, less powerful contrast of color show up. So this, that right there, might, I might lose a lot of people because if you don't, and a lot of people don't get this, that the value differences, the difference between light and dark, is the most visually potent difference you can have. Far stronger than just the, the you know, whether the color is saturated or not, or, the, or if it's a blue or it's a yellow, it's the lightness and darkness of things that we notice first. So, um, so I just wanted to just share this with you because I think it's really cool. So if I have, for example, a high contrast and I have a color, I'm doing this in oil paint, which is kind of crazy, but, um, and I have a high, co co beautiful color here. If I want to, um, and right now this painting, let's say that's my painting, this is about that contrast. This is about the, uh, we're noticing that contrast totally. And so this painting is about that contrast. But if I want to make it about that color more, I have, if I lessen this contrast, so for example, if I come in and I lessen it, Suddenly, suddenly now we can see the color better. So there's this choice you get to make. And that's basically what I, I want to share with you, that, that you can diminish one to let something else come out. Um, what we do a lot of times is we have both being equal. You know, we have both, both of them are kind of the same and we get this confusion in our work. Like it's, it's cooler to like, choose something that you want to uplift, that you want to hold that one thing. Okay, so this is how it shows up. You know, when you, it's, it's not as clear as this, right? So this is a picture, this is a painting that, uh, that kind of went wrong and I, I've been scraping it off and it's, there's all these layers on here. So it's kind of like a painting I'll be working on. But right now, what we have is we have high contrast down here. And, and because of that, the color in a way, especially in this area, you know, not so much up here, but especially in this area, becomes secondary to this darkness here. And so because of this, this high contrast, so if I want to make this color look stronger, I can reduce that contrast of that black, you know, I can take some of that away, you know, it can still be dark. I'll just try and just kind of fake it on here. And suddenly, do you see what happens with the color? We start to see it better. There's still black on here, there's still darks, but as this gets less, now we really start seeing all, we start, we start seeing this color better. And the same thing goes for, you know, uh, if I take, this is a high contrast here, if I reduce that contrast down a little bit, um, a little bit and take out some of that contrast, we will, and we'll really start to see the color better. Because the, the biggest difference now becomes the difference of color, not the difference of light and dark. So it depends on what, how, where I want to go with this picture. You know, if I can reduce this down and take those contrasts away, it changes the work. But a lot of times we're just kind of flying blind and we don't know what's happening. And it's helpful to know what we want to have the outcome and understand where we're letting things come and letting things go and making something stand out more than another thing. This, this is, has tons of color in it. And if I still, if I take that away, if I reduce this down, you'll see it you'll notice these colors in here.
just leaving some black. It's, it's, it's about color. And look in here, you really, this is all the same value. You notice, you can really see the differences of color there. If we come in and we start, you know, doing this, now it becomes about that mark and about the contrast of that, and this is secondary to it. So anyway, that's just a really cool idea that, I don't know, um, I explained it this way and it was really helpful for people, so I thought I'd share it today. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments what you think about this, how you think, do you think about when you make your work, um, choosing one thing to elevate and, and keeping everything kind of secondary to behind it. It makes really powerful work. It makes it really powerful to work on it because you're getting this potent thing coming out, but also it resonates with people. People connect to that. So anyway, let me know in the comments. Um, February 14th, don't forget, that's uh, when our free workshop starts. It's the beginning of the CVP and all the Art to Life uh, season of teaching. Uh, we're gearing up for this. It's going to be really, really awesome. Um, so save that date. Um, I'll be doing a whole bunch of teaching that week, um, February 14th. That's Valentine's Day. Um, for those of you who are new here, uh, free download, the color PDFs. It kind of talks about this a little bit. It sets up some of the principles of color. I mean, not exactly in this way, but um, if you haven't gotten that, do download that. Listen, thanks for being here. I hope you have an awesome Sunday. Okay, bye. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please, Join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.